What's going on everybody? It's Rick from Garden Oath Bar Chuckin. I'm here at my beds. They're nice and full. I have this mushroom substrate on top. What I'm going to do today is this bed I'm going to leave alone. This bed I'm going to try to incorporate the soil from down below and that mushroom substrate together. And then I'm going to cover both of these with some black plastic. So I'll bring you over here, show you the tools, and show you how I'm going to do it. So the tools that I have for this are just a pitchfork, garden fork, and then my tumbleweed compost aerator. I'm not sure exactly which one's going to be better. So what I think I'm going to do is go around with this first for a little bit and then get the garden fork involved. And I absolutely love seeing that. Oh, went just a little too deep. One thing that's kind of interesting to see, you can see the level just with the rain and the snow we got, how much it's basically packed that in. So this is gonna be good for it anyway. I'll give it a little aeration and try to incorporate, like I said, that lower soil into this substrate, the mushroom substrate. And uh, yeah, we'll do a little experiment, get to see which bed, you know, outperforms or looks the best. So now, right here, I don't know if you've seen, there was a, kind of some debris that came up. I have some leaves up top that I'm going to end up mixing in. If this was closer to the growing season, I would not do that. But seeing that I'm still many months away from actually being able to grow in this, uh, having a little bit of leaves or you know material breaking down in the middle is not a big issue for me. Yeah, see? Now, on this side, I'm just gonna use the garden fork and see kinda of how it compares to that tumbler and the garden fork. I think it did pretty much a comparable job and it seemed to be a little quicker so I didn't have to double go over it. Um, a lot of times when I would enter into the bed the first bit was all stuck together so I would have to double flip it but you can see after that it makes it kind of crumbly which is kind of what I'm looking for. So now what I'm doing is trying to smooth it out again a little bit so I don't have any real high spots. And then here's a piece that I brought up so I'm just going to kind of dig that under. Let that keep breaking down inside the bed. I got a worm on top of the bag here. I got another worm. So they're going right into the garden. So I was, eh, let me try it. I was hoping just to be able to spread it out with the rake, but they kind of packed in. So I'll see if 
maybe a couple hits it'll start loosening it up oops keep the leaves in the bed Rick Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now that bag didn't seem as packed in as the other one. Okay, both beds to me are looking pretty good. So now, I got that from my brother. So it should be 16 feet and both of these beds are eight feet. So I'll put you in another spot and show you how I'm gonna go ahead and handle this. Basically, I wanna get a measurement kind of thing. It doesn't have to be exact. So I'm pulling it the full length of the bed then I'm going to fold it back over itself and make sure wow that looks pretty close carefully take my pocket knife so I'm just going to put the knife in So now it's just a matter of unfolding it. Just got to do this other bed. I'll end up putting another brick here so no wind gets under to lift this off. Oh, I need one more right there. thanks for coming along checking out the video uh, hopefully with getting the mushroom substrate in here getting those extra leaves in here and then getting it covered I can go ahead and kind of hold keep some of that moisture in as you've seen I showed a few worms but there was a ton in here um, hopefully those worms can start eating that leaf matter actually make a little layer of castings which would be fantastic right in the garden bed if you guys have any questions, don't forget to drop them down in the comments. Thanks for coming along checking out the video. Everybody have a great day.